Hey, what's going on YouTubers? In this video, we're gonna work on that drum fill you just saw. Let's do it. All right, welcome back to another drum lesson. I'm Kevin Prince. And in this video, we're working on a drum fill that consists of six notes and the pattern goes right, left, right, left, left, kick. Let's get acclimated to that pattern and repeat that and practice it. So that's just the meat and potatoes to the drum fill. There's a couple other things we're gonna do to give it a little bit of a twist and make it sound better. The next thing we're gonna talk about is we're gonna give this pattern a count, give it an identity. So we're gonna count 16th note triplets along to it. So it's one and a, one and a, two and a, two and a. Repeat for beats three and four. So you would get one and a, one and a, two and a, two and a, and a, three and a, four and a, four and a. All right, if you're not sure how to count subdivisions, you can go over to drummer101.com. There's videos on there that will help you out with that, as well as a free reference guide if you're brand new to drumming and you don't really know where to start. It's a great starting point for any drummer that even just wants to get a refresher course on the basics. So even if you've been playing a while and you just need a little, a little reminder and a refresher, go head over and download that course. It's absolutely free. All right, back to the lesson. We have the count of 16th note triplets, one and a, one and a, two and a, two and a, three and a, three and a, four and a, four and a. All right, so the dynamic feel we're going to give this pattern is all the right hands loud, all the left hands soft. So you're gonna get something that sounds a little bit more like this. Speed that up for you a little bit faster. All right, once you get to that point about that speed, you're ready to start applying this as a drum fill. We're gonna play one bar of a groove, one bar of that pattern. Remember to accent the rights, ghost note the lefts. We're gonna keep it on our snare drum for now. Just make it as tight as possible. Here we go. All right, a little bit faster. All right, so you might notice that this pattern ends with the bass drum and the groove begins with the bass drum, typically. Which means the faster you play this drum fill, the faster that foot is gonna have to get the boom, kicks in there. And if you're not comfortable playing this yet, it's gonna take some time to play it at slow tempos before you could play it at faster tempos. So I would recommend starting it about 50 to 60 beats per minute with the metronome. Next, we're moving on to movement. Let's take our right hand, so our accents are gonna be played on our hi-hat. You don't have to play it on your hi-hat. You can play it anywhere on your drum set, but I'm just choosing it to play it on my hi-hat right now. So we're gonna get right, left, right, left, left kick, right hand hats, left hand snare, ghost notes. Let's do it. All right, so next what I'll do is I'll take my right hand to just move it around the different surfaces so I can train my ear to get used to hearing that pattern on different surfaces.
once your ear is comfortable hearing that right hand played on different surfaces, go ahead and start orchestrating your own drum fills with just that pattern, but move it anywhere you want. Let's try it out. All right, hopefully you got something out of this video. Remember, you could take that group of six notes and you can combine it with other groups of six notes and orchestrate your own 16th note triplet drum fills that way. That way it's just not a stagnant one right, left, right, left, left kick pattern. You get a little bit of diversity in there. So if you got something out of this video, you have any comments, please comment down below, like the video and make sure to subscribe. Remember there's the free reference guide on drummer101.com. That is gonna be linked down in the description below as well. And I will see you guys later.